Or being justified or being reconciled to God, there was an enmity between us, between me and God. And then through the work of Christ, I have been reconciled. And then in, in the church, in the religious leaders, in fact, Shadel is one of the, the pillars of our ministry. So we used to modify ambassador so that every member should be should inculcate this vision, this mission that we are doing intentional uh, bringing more people to the mission of Jesus Christ. So we have a ministry. So uh, our our main our main ministry is uh, we did not just create programs. We, we just we, we did not create activities for the sake of for the sake of having activities. But we do an intentional ministry uh, focused on disciples, uh, the deeper people, the deeper the life support group, that we encourage uh, to be part of the church, a leader, uh, you will then become a member if you are not either a member or a deeper leader. So in other words, uh, you must be in a deeper group. If you get involved in the music team, in the youth ministry, you must be that's one of the requirements. You must become a member or a big group uh, leader. So yeah, we so. are uh, really doing an intentional uh, discipleship for the ministry of the church because we are uh, uh, we have been blessed with uh, we are, we have been reconciled through Christ. Yeah. So that reconciliation you form that around discipleship and taking people closer. To God, getting people to have a big vision of who God is to know the yeah, that was, that's great. Should that, was, it, was it the black in your role? So what, what role do you play? So I know Pastor uh, has his role. What's your role in the church? Uh, in our church, I'm involved in the youth and young adults ministry. Also involved in the music ministry, but my main ministry is the discipleship group. So I lead uh, teenagers, young ladies from 15 to 19 years old. So for me, at first, it's really a big challenge in my personality. At first, I'm usually shy. I don't know how to properly converse with someone to be really uh, care for someone, to empathize for someone. But I know it's God's desire that He placed it in my heart to really reach out for someone, for these young girls. They know they really need guidance, especially in their spiritual life. That's the most important area of their lives. So for me, it's still now it's a challenge because there are times it's not always you're on top. So there are very there are times that are very challenging, and there was even a time that. I cried out to God and asked Him to, can I just stop, Lord? Jesus to reach out others and tell them that there is a God who really cares for you. He's never asleep, he never slumbers, so I really want to take care of them and lead them to the right path. I know I'm not perfect, I have my own chef struggles, but it's the God's grace is really su sufficient for me and my weakness is power to be made perfect. We should just pray and go home. <laughs> uh, uh, Homer, tell us about the church. And um, so we're, we're talking about discipling people in church, but there's also a flip side to discipleship because sometimes we disciple people towards Jesus. So, you know, we, so uh, tell us about the feeding programs. Uh, there's a couple of feeding programs. Uh, with the feeding of the children and stuff. Tell us about that, because I think as, even as a church, we've helped support some of the feeding programs. And how does that connect with yeah. the parents? Thank you for that, uh, uh, so that. This is a, I, I had to take this opportunity to share what we are doing in uh, the Lunasana Church people in uh, the Fukus 
ministry. Uh, as what uh, Holy had said, that it is one of the most large communities in the city. Um, out of in that cliff, in that mountain, uh, the people there are living illegally. In other words, it's owned by the government, and then uh, the people there uh, are staying are living illegally. And then one time after Typhoon Haiyan, the super Typhoon Haiyan that struck in the Philippines, that area was uh, was advised by the government that the people could uh, they, they have to move out. So, but the people uh, uh, had no way, uh, had no no place to, to find, and then they stayed. And then we back in 2008, 2007, uh, we had we, we we saw that the need, the potential of these people. Uh, the spiritual way. Um, uh, look at, looking at the skills, if if the church would fail ministry of reaching out the skills, they would they would end up in drug addiction, early marriage, being abused by the people. Um, in the Philippines, one of the, the means transportation is a uh, motorcycle, it's very common. Habal <laughs> habal. Motorcycle, and then uh, it, as far as getting your driver's license, so it's not as strict as it is in your country. So at uh, least 10 years old, 12 years old, as long as you can drive, uh, people would uh, allow you to drive, and then this is the scenario. If I think.